How's it going, guys? Uh, Jesse here from Third Person Comic Review. Today, joined by Chris. What's up, guys? Good to be here. Over that way. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to doing the intro, so he's that way. Yep. Hold All right. Um, we're going over issue 161 of The Walking Dead, The Whisperer War, part five of six. So close to the end. Uh, in this issue, we get a lot of good panels. And you get Carl being a hero. You get Maggie showing more leadership than she normally does in this part of the comic. Right. You get um, Rick making a tough decision. Or is it really that tough considering what he has to do? Yeah, he's, he's, it's, a little, it's a little rough for him. Uh, you get Negan being Negan? <laughs> no, not being Negan, actually. He's being a new form of Negan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you get so many good panels. You get Eugene. You get um, we're definitely ramping up for the final yeah. issue of the arc. It's it's just amazing, and you can't even contain all of this amazing stuff in one issue because you feel like you're getting so much more. Yeah, yeah. So it was good. Uh, so you you want to move in? Yeah. Let's just get right into it because if I keep stalling, I'm just gonna burst over with joy. All right. So let's move into it. So what do we got here? First page is. We, we, we catch back up with Lydia, who's in the middle of fighting. Um, and I'm going to move forward because um, I want to just go ahead and what they what she says. So we have this. It's the it's the double page panel here, but it's digital. So don't worry about it. It's, you guys know what it looked like. Um, uh, but wait, uh, what I wanted to talk about was um, wait. Wasn't it this issue where the where they talked to her and she's like, he's like, you're a traitor. Was that last issue? No, I believe that was the last issue. Was it really? Sixty. Yeah. Damn it. I didn't talk about that. <laughs> Let's just what well, we talked about in, in the last video. We talked about her, um, how she's how she had to make the she made the choice. And for some reason, I thought it was in this issue where they were like, "You're a traitor," and she's like, "Shut up, die, boom." But really, it wasn't this issue. It might is it not the next page? It, no. no, because it uh, it just it goes to them getting out. But all right, let me let me just scroll through real quick. I know we're, we're skipping ahead. Here it is. Yeah, okay. So I'm just skipping ahead, but I, I wanted to just go in and talk about Lydia. So we could bypass this when we get there. But this is when she says, you, you fight for them now. You you believe in their ways. And she's like, I can't even hear you. You're a traitor. And she's like, she's a good fighter, though. So they train yeah. her real well, you know. And Well, um, like Alpha said, she has to fight to survive. Yeah, well, they, what, they raped her. They beat her. They, like, you know, they treated her like, like an animal. And yeah, she says, I don't want to live like an animal. I'm better than that. We all are. Well, most of us. A plonk kills kill death kill death ratio anyway so that's all i want to talk about that let's go back to the next let's move to the next unless you you, you want to keep going lydia sorry uh i think we're good with lydia yeah, that, i just wanted to get really that out there had. yeah um, um and now we're back with um now um like, like like who who was this girl that girl there that Sophia. Grand Herschel? oh yeah sophia i was like <laughs> And I just read because the first two panels, I'm like, wait, who the hell is that? I'm like, what the freckles? I'm like, again, I have issues like telling who's who. And then I was like, oh yeah, Sophia. Okay, yeah. And I'm so dumb because yeah, I could have just read the. It's next hard panel. to remember she's alive in all honesty. Yeah, and I was like, wait, who the hell is that girl? Oh yeah, okay, so that's her little. Because she's kind of being replaced by Enid in the show. Right, right. Um, yeah. But yeah, so you know, this whole this whole section here, right? Yeah. Car rolls up and he's like, "Look, I'm gonna." I'm gonna be a hero today. Yeah, like she, he's telling them, "Get out, get out, get out." And and Maggie's like, "No, we have to go. I'm gonna, you know, here, you take the." And he's like, "No, nah, dumbass. You have your kids. Get the fuck out of here." You know. Yeah, like, it's like, Carl is stepping up to be the man he should be when he's older. I mean, he's adolescence now, but he's like Rick when Rick first, like, got the taste of the, you know, apocalypse. Well, you know, but the thing is, like we mentioned last video in issue six, one, uh, 160 was that, you know, now we're back to, like, almost medieval times. Yeah. And the age that you have to grow up is drastically reduced. So, you know, he we was figured, eight when this started. Yeah, so, so you know, we figure he's in geez. his early teens right now. And, you know, and he's becoming a man and he's... I think I think the thing with Lydia has made him into someone. Like it's given him a purpose, and it's yeah. I it's 
it's helping him create an identity for himself you know and i'm glad to see that because though carl in the show is not the best character comic carl uh comic carl is an awesome character yeah and always has been even though he was a little iffy there at the beginning yeah well don't forget he was growing up like how do you yeah. grow up in this fucking situation it's ridiculous so he grew know. up a lot better in the comic than he did in the show so but i like where he's at in the show yeah it's good it's good and so here he's going and um this is a this is a big thing you know he's helping people out and he's like you said being a hero yeah he, he's being the person that rick would be proud of right and when he finds out he's of course he's probably gonna be like carl you did what and Carl's gonna be like, I did what you would have did, Dad. Yeah. And he's like, fine, I can't argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he gets, so he breaks in, you know, he's helping these people get out, and, um. He gets, he, uh, knocked out and trapped himself. Yeah. So, like, we see in that last panel, he gets knocked out, and I was like, oh, shit. You know, like, are they gonna, are, are they gonna kill Carl? Like. Kirkman said that we're going to do something we haven't done in a while on the show. Right. Or we haven't done in a while. So he can Wait, either on the show mean, or in the comic? In the comic, I think. I don't yeah. remember. He just said in a while. So you don't know if it's killing somebody that's dead in the show, been dead for a while, Sophia, right. or if it's killing a main cast character. Right. And I was thinking to myself, oh no, Carl's becoming such a good character. Are they really going to kill him kill off him right, right now? Right, yeah. Fuck. Well, as we find out in the next... The next um, couple pages so so he's so we see him and he, and he wakes up and we, we he's gonna try and crawl out um and then we see him kind of collapse so that kind of sucked yeah and i was like, i gotta say this issue really put emphasis on that eye hole yeah and i think it's <laughs> i think it's because of the show and how it just showed it recently maybe but you just, but you know but you know so i mean good. you know i mean that was shot way early and this was shot and this was shot this was created they were both created way earlier than the time they were both released the show and the yeah yeah I'm what i'm saying is so, though like it could have been a correlation but the they always eye have hole looks show. good oh yeah and it always the, does this is the but problem this issue right and this is the problem we had with the show kind of where it was like we you and i had wished it would have been more like that with the thing off the side well again know. in the show they couldn't really do that because but, but remember Jesse, they here have, like they the whole that have, date was blown but they literally have half bodies animating in the show you know what i'm saying yeah, like that guy in the pole like they could do it they could stuff. do it no i think they could have done it i think they could have done it but um, i like where they are in the show with it yeah hey look it's it's you know if, if you have to look at it looking at it in the comic is one thing but looking at it on like in live tv is that's yeah they probably i bet you they did have it really sick and then they toned Prop. it down because don't forget Glenn's eye pop, um, that was only seen not not a lot. It was like seen it was for, seen for a split second. It really. wasn't seen for very long. It was only seen for like yeah maybe you know enough for him to say I'll find you and then the Maggie right. Yeah. So you know I think the fact that we're gonna end up seeing Carl without the thing, but then they do cover it with his hair. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, moving on, we have uh, once again people fighting through fucking zombies trying to get out. Um, one thing I will say about this issue is I love the the fire. I said it last issue, but this issue even more so because it does. Look, I think that's what did the eye in everywhere. The, like the fire, the yeah. fire. Yeah, you know, the contrast, absolutely, or the juxtaposition of it, right? Yeah. Um, but I mean, this was just this was just crazy. So they get Herschel out, and, and they're just they're just trying to blast their way through. Um, uh, and again, we're gonna skip past this. You know, this is Lydia still fighting and stuff like that. Um, yeah. They pop out, and the people that Carl helped, you know, they said, "Oh no, he he, he didn't make it out." And then and out then of nowhere, Aaron goes and plays the hero, right? Which we haven't seen much of Aaron since the uh, the Negan War. Well, he Have just we? got well. No, well, no, but he he was just, he just out got on stabbed. patrol, and the wisp when and their first their the group's real first encounter was yeah. with when Aaron got stabbed. No, so second second. Because we haven't seen much of him except for him being stabbed since the Negan War. Right. Which, well, right, yeah. He's a good character in the comic. I, I, the comic is just, Kirkman's done a phenomenal job with the creation of these characters. You know what, I think, but, and you gotta remember too, these are, now that everything's kind of combined, you gotta have characters that link back to other things. So he's like an original yeah. Alexandrian. 
um, you know, and like Heath, he's an original Alexandrian, you know, and just, you know, you got to keep these characters, the ties, because, you know, you don't want to forget good story writing. You don't want to forget yeah. where you've come from, especially in a long form situation like this. You want to make sure people remember and have these characters, because if you just keep having the same group, you know what I mean? Five when people. When I think about the comic in correlation to the show, if they do as the comic does and make Aaron and company a main part of the cast, then we'll get the attachment like we do here. These guys have been around for what, 60 issues? Yeah. 70? No, no. 50 issues? Well, since, well, yeah, but. So two years? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. It's hard it's to believe like the Negan War was that long ago. It's crazy, especially like for someone like me who, who, who played catch up, you know? Yeah. Um, and spent months reading the reading these all, you know, like. Um, yeah, I think I left off on like one hundred and ten or something like that, and then I had to play catch up for like thirty issues one time. Yeah, um, what a what a ride though! So yeah. great. To, I, I I highly suggest that if you haven't, if you're if like if you're caught up but you haven't gone back, which I'm pretty sure you have, um, but even just getting like the the compendiums of these and just reading groups of these yeah. at once is just really great. Um, so just kind of like moving forward, you know, they, Aaron gets him out and, um, you know, they're trying to, the doctor takes care of him, gets him, uh, or tries to get him breathing again. Yeah. Um, amazing panel. This was an amazing, yeah. And, and I'm sorry for not, I mean, you know what? I mean, I can probably just, I'm going to pop it up real quick. Um, I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to make it bigger. I forget it. Anyway, I was trying to make it, I was trying to make it bigger for you guys, but that didn't work out. So, um, yeah, th this is just an amazing panel. This, this was like, I, I looked at this and I was like, Jesus, like th it just... it's fucking done. Like, come on, man. Like, the... so I read this when it released, I was like just waking up and I got the notification it released on my phone. So I quickly swiped and purchased it and then i turned to the side i was scrolling through reading and then this panel came up and that's how i started my day i was like yes yeah and it really like like i read most of my comics on the phone too or on my tablet um but still it doesn't do it justice so like obviously no. it's on the computer now and i'm like, I'm like damn it just it looks crazy and i love i love watching these panels like when we got it last issue and the issue before when they're fighting the zombie horde out in the dwight dwight and Michonne out in the field, but I love these panels. Um, how they do this, you know what I mean? Yeah. I love how it's uh, they just Skybound Comics does an amazing job oh, yeah. overall. Yeah, they're the layout, and and this isn't a crazy layout, a crazy laid out comic. Like it's very yeah. linear, and that's great, and and that's and that's what it should be. And that there, that was awesome. Maggie just standing in front of the burning building. With the kid like that, I mean, the first when I saw this, I thought Sarah Connor. Like this is she reminded me of Sarah I was Connor, thinking that. right? Um, yeah. It's just crazy. This is it was just a great, great thing. And she's yay, we won. She's just exhausted and looking at at everything going on. I won't put the next page, but real quick, Fuck, it's just like it's just damn it, man, damn it all that work on the hilltop and now they're going to either have to go to the kingdom or alexandria well the kingdom fuck you know well alexandria probably has a lot of room <laughs> but the kingdom they, they don't even they don't even want to send people however um, well the sanctuary doesn't want to send people the sanctuary kingdom doesn't want to send people but i don't know the kingdom uh, has that one douchebag who keeps undermining um right but didn't we but we saw two two issues ago he was like if you ever the guy was like, the guy who's in yeah. charge right now was like, if you ever fucking undermine me again, I'm going to fucking kill you. You know, yeah. like put that asshole in his place. And I was so happy. I wish I was on the review for that one with you because I would have been like, that was awesome. You know? Um, yeah. That I, that was 159, I think. I think it was. Yeah. Because we, we got the like undermining in 158 yeah. and then 159. They're like, you know what? Screw you. Screw your opinion. Don't undermine me. Right. And so here in this one, so this is where we get a, a few scenes here. Okay, we've got Beta, um, and you see how he's still he's still making his way. So there, he's still trying to initiate that a plan. That wailing from Lucille really took its toll. Yeah, he beat the shit. He got the shit beat out of him. Um, and then we cut to Heath and Vincent telling 
Rick, what's going on? And then here's here's the uh, this is the guy we're talking about, William from uh, Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, and so we're, we're getting to see like this is this is what I'm saying. How at you know, I think they're gonna go help them now. So will they take them in? Will they take half the people to the Kingdom, half to Alexandria? Right? Probably. Right. Um, now the question this is, is who? Where is Maggie going to step up at? She may not. Maybe she's, this might this might have broken her a little. I don't know. She seems kind of out know. of it right now. You know. Um, might have. But then again, Glenn didn't really like break her. She was ready to step up and do what needed to be done. Right. Right. So maybe she won't get broken. Maybe she'll just. She's I, a strong I, character. She I, needs to stay strong. Yeah. Or maybe she'll maybe she'll be okay to step aside because now she's or or rebuilt. Now they got to rebuild. Maybe. And you know, I think I I think uh, I think Kingdom is going to step in to help them rebuild but that might cause problems it might yeah who knows Th this comic could go anywhere at this point i mean like kirkman said it can go on forever i i've always said that too like i don't see how this how, you know how they could really avoid why they would or could end it um let's move to the last bit because um this confused me a bit at the very end it cuts back and it cuts to dwight's group and i didn't know because yeah. i didn't know who these people were at the bottom panel i was like How'd she get bit? She was in the house on fire, and I was, I was like, like, "Wait, yeah, that's not these, her." Who is this? And <laughs> and then it turns out it's um, Dwight's group, and I was like, "Ah, oh, shit. Okay, all right, I get it now." Yeah. So they. So and they then, uh, then the next page we get uh, Negan, you know, being the new Negan. He's a woman sucks me. He's like, "You beat fucking from you." Yeah. Yeah, you're a fucking lunatic. Like, fucking like. <sighs> Kind of crazy. Like, what does that mean for Negan? I mean, he's he, it's just a temporary thing, obviously. Obviously. But, you know, he, he's too much of a psycho to be broken by a baseball bat being broken. I know, but it's just funny. But here's the thing. He says, I don't want to I don't want to know what... You'll never understand what she represented to me, why she meant so much. And I got excited. Like, oh, shit, are we actually going to get some backstory on who the fuck Negan is and where he came from? I mean, Like we gotta... the governor issue of the comic? What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the whole governor issue well, thing. Well, I also... Yeah. You see, the governor's an interesting case study because i there were three books based two yeah two two, two or novels? three i forget i think there were three i thought there were three maybe two i know there's the governor which is like its own thing well yeah so the beginning okay so i mean the governor he has a whole backstory and it was you know there were in in two or three novels i forget it this point. yeah i read i read the whatever however many there were i read them all but they were really good which yeah. led right into like portions of the, and and the third book or whatever the last of the bunch uh, set it in the middle of like you saw the other side of what happened once Rick and Michonne showed up at, and it also it's yeah. also a little different because it takes place from the comic not the it's the comic governor not the show governor yeah. um, so it's a little different but um, but great so I would love to see some side stuff in for novel Negan. form for Negan or se or separate even a separate comic dude imagine oh that my God. just maybe like the a, Negan like a four issue run <laughs> yeah like dude why not? Especially now that Negan's in the fucking like capitalize on that shit. If he hasn't already really? created that, um, really great stuff. So um, I, I thought we were gonna get something. I hope we do because I would like to know more about Negan and why he became the way he, he became. You know, the governor was more compelling because we knew how he came about and why. Yeah. You know, it, those of us who read that shit. Um. So yeah, so this is the aftermath, and, and they're they're getting ready to go, and uh, we see Beta and his cohorts. You know that they're they're scouting him out, and he's like, "They look. They think they've won already. They don't even know." Right. That, that, that's like, I forget where that comes from. Like, you don't even know <laughs> the extent of our power. Or it could just be Carl from the past couple episodes of The Walking Dead, where he says, "That's true. You don't. You, you're lucky. You're not dead. You're, you don't like, especially the the last one. Sing you don't him. even know who you're messing with, man." Yeah. So very, very good stuff. So I think that's the last. Uh, oh no, we get. Oh, that's right. Before we move we get forward. the Eugene stuff where we, he's getting ballsy. Okay, but you know, yeah, I'm still trying to find out who he was talking to. We don't know. Remember, that's been a bunch uh, of issues now. He's been in the. Uh, oh, on the phone, yeah. On the the CB thing, yeah. I, um, I don't know about that, but I, I thought you was talking about this guy. I was like, I think he's just one of the workers from the factory. No, no, yeah, no, this guy was just working with him. But I'm saying the whole radio thing, like we haven't seen who that was over the damn radio. And I'm like, unless do we know? I don't. I don't think we do. I don't think, I, do. I don't think they're going to like 
give us that little tidbit this early on. So here's so here's the here's the diversity between this uh, this Eugene and the Eugene from the show is that this Eugene has a set of balls and he's stepping up, being like, "Look, our well, job." Well, this Eugene had to grow a set of balls. That's well, the thing. in this one, yeah. Well, true, true. Um, well, not, you know, he's got he's got cause for it in the show. He's just he just know, hasn't stepped kind of breaking up. Down. Remember, he, we're about like twenty issues behind in the show. Yeah. Oh, more than that? Maybe I don't remember, but. We're we a just set hit number issue of 100, behind. basically, and now we're like maybe issue. We're like 105 right yeah, now. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, so this this version of Eugene, very cool. They've made all these bullets, and he's like, "I'm gonna. We've got to get it out there. We've got to get them out there. Um, it's got to be done today." Yeah, he's like, "I want them. I want to start distributing these bullets in the morning because we're gonna need them, and yep. rightly so. So you know what? Good for him. Also, that's a weird cart because it's only got two wheels, and if that horse goes any, if those horses go anywhere, that cart's going over. <laughs> that's like an old tuk tuk. Yeah. Or no, uh, old rickshaw. Yeah, that's like what a rickshaw. Is. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So very cool with him there, and then and then we get that scene that you mentioned earlier about um, how Rick and Andrea making a decision here. Yeah, I like I like this dialogue though. This was this was this, this was cool dialogue. Yeah. I, I I really like I really like the scenes with him and Andrea. I'm really happy that Rick has Andrea in this. Yeah, we haven't gotten as much Rick this uh, this arc as we have in previous arcs, but that's cause you know old Rick. Right. But I mean, yeah. but you know, but he's definitely had to make these decisions. But I, I like you said. Oh, yeah. I, I'm glad he's he's you know. I mean, the issue where he had to kill that guy. Yeah. Great. Yeah. You, like, know, he's, you have to wonder how long it's been since he's had to kill somebody. He's still making these decisions, you know? And yeah. um, I don't know. I liked it. I liked this scene. I thought it was fun. Like, um, you know, not fun, fun, but I, I, I like the dialogue, you know? And they're just drinking some coffee or whatever and, or tea, and they're just, you know, talking yeah, about yeah. how. You know, things the sanctuary, suck. they might be going against us. Well, when it comes time, I'm going to take care of it. Yeah. yeah, you always do. Yeah, I liked it. That was good, you yeah. know? It's a good, like, so we talk about these breaks we get from the show and all the nonsense that's going on, but this here is our break in the comic. Right. And it always and has been. It, it always yeah, has been. It's just a panel or two, but it's it's good. Or like a page even. And I always appreciated yeah. when they did this, especially, like I said, with Andrea, because it puts things into perspective and we obviously get to see where Rick's coming from because he's a family man again. Yeah. You know? Um, and he definitely has a lot to lose, which you know, which makes his decisions even more tough, tougher. Yeah. You know, difficult. Uh, so wrapping it up, we're gonna let's get back to the sanctuary with um, Sherry. Ah, um, the douchebags. So, okay, do you know who this chick is? I forget her name, but like I've forgotten it the last like three episodes. <laughs> right, I don't the three, know last three issues. issues. I, yeah, I don't know who this is. But she seems like she's the one calling the, the shots. I know Sherry is the one that she's going to see, which is Dwight's ex-wife. Right. Ex-fiance, whatever. Uh, oh, so. oh, right. Oh, that's... Sh okay. Wait, so... Oh, I thought this chick was Sherry. No, Sherry is not that chick. I forget that chick's name. Oh, okay. My mistake then. I forgot. Okay, so that's not... Sherry is... Okay. So Sherry's, Sherry's really long-haired one. Yeah. So she's the one running this. Yeah. Yeah, she's a... Uh... She's a lot different from in the show. But, you know, now seeing this, you know, I mean, we'll move to the last panel where she says, I believe in Rick Grimes. Um, they're going to win. And, and then, then we're going to make our move. And then and a bunch of them will die. Right. And then we're going to make our fucking move. So, yeah, I mean, there's the there's your big there's your next arc. Yeah. There's your next and, arc. And, uh. Is she really cut out to be a villain? Really? We, we haven't be, seen as much Sherry in the comic as we have in the show. No. It could be a very quick arc. It, I hope it's like just a three uh, comic arc. Where it's like, it might be a little hey, interim. We're rising up against you. Hey, no you're not. Kill the leader. Hey, it's back to normal. Yeah, I think Dwight's going to take care of it. Maybe Dwight's gonna have to kill. His I mean, it'd be comic justice if Dwight has to kill his ex fiance. Right. Yeah. Um, anyway, I don't know. Good stuff. D it was just a great overall issue. I really liked it. Yeah, def definitely good stuff. Um, 
like you said last issue, a lot of that uh, that contrast and lighting though really made this issue. Absolutely. So real quick, this guy on the cover, that's Beta. Yeah, that's Beta. Let's, let's unmask him. Let's just put him on the fucking cover of the comic. Why not? Right? Yeah, I mean, we don't get to <laughs> unmask him in the comic, but unmask him here. You think you think uh, Negan is going to square off against Beta? I hope he does. Yeah, I, I hope like Negan's the one that takes him down. I'd like to see that. Yeah. Like, I think I've talked about it in 159. If Negan gets his redemption, that's going to be good. Mm-hmm. I, I hope he does become a good character. Not in the sense that he's a goody two shoe, but he's like he's working with Rick and them. He ally. sees that humanity yeah, needs to be preserved. He really becomes like their ally and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like. He's the one that's going to take it a step beyond. He's the one that's going to humiliate the enemy and then murder them. Right. But he's still the one that's on like Rick's side, and he's not going to, you know, betray him right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I guess that's it, guys. Yeah, that uh, that wraps up this one. Um, ah, geez. Th- this issue here was, I keep saying it, phenomenal. But if you want to hear more of our stuff... Check out those links in the description. We have Ronin, Chris's Ronin 1011 gaming channel. Then we have, uh, I'm, I'm doing tears, man. That's cool, man. You then know. we have Two Punch. We have me and Herman. All of this is uh, Chris's side projects. Is your, which, is your gaming channel down there? You've been streaming more than I have. No, uh, I've been streaming lately, but I don't know if they like that content, but I'll throw a link down there. It's uh, J3X yeah, like, Productions. Well, yeah, Jesse and I stream on Twitch. Which is, you know, we do live, live action game playing. Yeah. Game. Uh, lately, I've been doing a lot of Final Fantasy 15. If you're into those RPG type games, uh, I, I don't, I don't know if this has much crossover, but if you like it, there it is. Hey, put it out there. It's, it's part of, it's part of what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. And we will. I mean, eventually, we will be doing a game section for. We uh, will be third doing person, Game so. of Thrones, a Telltale series. Uh, yeah, we're going to end up doing that. It's going to be like third-person games, we'll call it. I don't know if it'll be a yeah. separate channel. Right now, it'll be on this channel. I don't know. Whatever. We'll I, I think we'll out. just have a separate segment for that um, because we've had some of you guys, we mentioned it, and somebody in the comments was like, that'd be awesome. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. something we, we that we want that we plan on doing, so we'll bring more and more of that content. Uh, but thanks for watching this. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, you liking thank the comic. you so much. Yeah, it's good stuff. I think that's it. Uh. Again, for third person, I've been Jesse. Chris. And we're out. Peace.